dream of the future brought to reality by the Station Station Network. East Park to Buckhead, College Park to Bankhead, Dopest Sports Talk Show on the radio. You heard what I said. Mason, Eagle, Highlights, and Big Play. From the East Coast to the West Coast, from Oregon to Georgia State. Touchdowns and home runs, slam dunks and long runs. Athletes and sports junkies. If you got the knowledge, come get you some. Call in, let me hear your thoughts. Sound mad, get your team lost. Jerry Jones, cause I'm the ball. Call in, let me hear your thoughts. Craig, Jack, yeah. <laughs> It's that time. The time for the Dopa Sports Show Radio to invade your airways. It's the crush. Streaming live on SSNATL.com. And also broadcasting on WBLZSports.com. I am your humble co-host. And confused. And a little down. And all that good stuff. Eagles! It took a lot to get that out. You bewildered. <laughs> Lethargic. I'm trying to figure words out today, Mace, but uh, sometimes the words just get in the way. They get in the way, Mace. Lord, yes, the fuck. Wow, boy, you pulled that out. Hey, man, I do this, baby. <laughs> I do this. <laughs> and this guy right there is Mace Your Heard. Uh, you know, he's a photographer on the side now. He got me. But, you know, you know, he caught up this morning talking. Working out, talking some more. Yeah, man. One thing about it, man, wide receivers don't never stop talking. Yeah, y'all talk a lot. Yeah, man. wide house, baby, wide house, baby. You see they ain't shut up Antonio Brown yet, right? No, oh, my God. That guy <laughs> need, now, he need to cut it. He, he can't, man. He That's need to he cut did. it. That's what he For did. real. But it's all good, though. It's, it's all good. All it's all good. good. It's all good. good. It's all good. It's all good. Mm. We got a great show for you guys today. Yes, sir. We got our hot topics, of course. Mm. We're going to talk. We don't really know what that's about. We also got our question interview with our man, Enrique Davis, mm. owner of Priority Training. Man, get your mind right. Get your mind right. We got a lot of questions for him. Yeah, I got a lot of questions for him, man. Yeah, we got a lot of them. I want to know how. No, I, mind. I, 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 I ask him. I say that. that. That'd be my first question. I don't usually get a resume that's almost three pages, but he showed it slipping in there. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, he showed it slipping He's nice with it, man. He's he nice with it, man. A nice little three pager right there. Yeah, man. Hey, man, when, when you're accomplished, yeah, you, you do stuff like that. I mean, your, your, oh. I, I, uh, electronic media kit about 12 pages. Yeah, we do got a big one. We yeah, got a big I'm one. like, man, what you talking about, man? Let that man. Make sure I'm not thinking right, man. You ain't thought about it. Yeah, I forgot you. How you all on me? I, for, I forgot you. You're not, you're, you're, not right now. you're not clear. You're not clear. You're on me right now, man. Yesterday I was. I celebrated three quarters. I figured out where we were going to be at at the parade, man. man. I thought you were going to break out the hammer too legit to quit. I thought about it. I thought you was going to do it. But then. Yeah, man. Hey, we'll talk, uh, you know what? You know what? Y'all had one job. We had one job. One job. I thought the question I've been asking two years to over hundreds of guests not going to happen. I thought it was going to happen, Maceo. Hey, man. It was close, but no cigar. That's like terrible. You don't, I don't even like don't, horseshoes, it count. Horseshoes and grenades. And grenades. That's it. Only time when close matter. But it felt like the grenade last night, Tom Brady picked it up and threw it back at us. Man. What's that other song, Brandy? Almost doesn't count. Yeah, almost doesn't. Wow. I'm on fire today. Crush boy. Rundown and really will be epic. Really will be epic. My wide out segment is going to be epic today. You know, I was supposed to have props and everything, but I just couldn't even bring everything. I, I know you couldn't, man. I'm surprised you wore that hat. I'm going down with the flame, man. I feel like a Titanic. You know how they were going down? The band was with playing. With the band. With the band was playing. <laughs> that was me over there. Yeah, man. <laughs> As it was going down. Freeze <laughs> to death. Freeze <laughs> to death. I just kept playing, Mace, because, you know, it is what it is. But I got to say it with your chest today, Mace. I got to do one, man. Man, y'all y'all almost missed that iceberg, dog. Yeah. That should have been swerving. Yeah. Yeah. It's I all think, good. I think Tom Brady was driving. He knew he had a, a seat to drop out. Swerve. Coach will be here crashing the boys with him. Oh, man, I got some... Five hoop talk to talk about, man. <sighs> and then we'll wrap this show up. All right, y'all. We'll be right back. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. I want to be a warm place on a cold I want to be day. a football stadium. I want stadium. to be a bike that races around the country. I want to be a bench on a forest trail. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. 
Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in Better Futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. You know you're listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the it's crush. crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. We're to the hot topic about you by Dr. Kevin Dancer. If your smiles are coming to you, you should be coming to us. Dr. Kevin Dancer has been practicing dentistry for 60 years in beautiful southwest Atlanta. Call and give him a problem at 678-816-2338. Let me check that again. I'm going to check that number. But we got to go into our hot topic. Mace, are you ready, man? When am I not ready, man? Let's do it. So, I'm going to do it like this because I know tomorrow the NFL Sunday. But, with five Super Bowls, Seven times. Where is Tom Brady in your echelon of quarterbacks, Maceo? Man, honestly, I mean he's he's right there. I mean I'm I'm always just gonna give a nod to Montana. Yeah. Just cause Montana never lost, never threw an interception. I mean he don't know what it's like to lose in the Super Bowl. Brady is what five and two now. I mean, you know, again, you know, I don't like to throw the, the, the term goat out. I use G-O-M-E, greatest of my era. Yeah. He the greatest of our era. Yeah. I mean, without a doubt, man, these guys, what they've done, listen, man, they, they've caught my beloved Dallas Cowboys. They got five rings, man. They got five got thumb. out here, man. He got a thumb ring, man. He got, he got one got for the thumb. thumb. Yeah. Enrique, what's yours, man? What's your thought about Tom Brady? I, I, like I said, man, uh, I think he's the best to do it right now. No one's on this level. Yeah. Gotta respect it. Yeah. Gotta respect it. Absolutely. But I just wanted to, I, you know, there's been memes going out with Joe Montana face and they were talking about all what we've done. So I kind of went back and did the numbers between the two. Uh-huh. So I looked at Tom Brady, man. Five, seven, seven appearances, five yeah. wins. Mm-hmm. Joe, of course, 4 0 when all his win. But just the yards in there, uh, Tom Brady threw for over 2,000 yards. He's had 15 touchdowns, five in a session, you know, and, and, and four. Four. MVPs now, even though the kid White might have been a little bit more yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, he, he could have easily given it to him. Yeah. Then you go with your, my man Joe. He had four. He had four wins, eleven touchdowns, no interceptions. No interceptions. And three Super Bowl MVP. But the only thing that everybody's going to ask. But I looked at it, his. He, he only had one Hall of Fame. I thought Dwight Clark might have gotten that, but he never got any. No. It was only Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Not bad to have him for a couple of little Super Bowls. I mean, the best, the best to ever do it. <laughs> now that's the goat. Yeah, oh, I mean, there's no argument. There's no yeah. dispute. Jerry Rice might be the best football player that ever yeah, played. I mean, the guy was never outworked. He played for 20 years, man. The very, were, uh, very debatable, no doubt. But I just looked at Brady's record. And I, I just looked at that, Enrique. I'm just looking at the game he played yesterday. It just even a regular quarterback, y'all, when that 82 yard interception, you'd been putting them on the bench to let them watch the regular game. Mm-hmm. Man. And just to see him say, everybody had his, his meme ready when he had his head down on the bench. What he did that second half, man, was wow. Come back. Wow. What's y'all thoughts on it, man? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. That's the only thing you can put with him, man. And, and, it, and it's funny. Like I was saying earlier, he showed no panic. Mm. And he was just kind of like, you know, in the, whenever you watch his interviews, it's always like, well, first of all, he plays with a passion. Right. I always play with a passion. And, and you could just see in his eyes, it wasn't no flinch. It wasn't no, I mean, he was just like, man, look, just keep giving me the ball. You know what I always think is the ultimate respect to Brady? Is you ever see, if the if the Patriots are losing, you never see Belichick worry about the offense. He's always on the sideline going at his defense. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's sitting in their faces like, yo, we got to do this. Because 
he know me and Twelve been together for about seventeen years right now. I know yeah. what he's about to do. I know what he's gonna do. Yeah. I know what Twelve. I know what he's gonna do. Yeah, it was just an amazing game. I like I said, we'll talk more about it tomorrow, man. It, it, it's 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 uh, it's just as a Falcon fan, you know, you can check us out. You'll see some of my comments on it today. But I want to spend on I, 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 this term of the goat, and I just. <laughs> I just sometimes you just sit back and when I had a chance to think about it, I say, what was I watching last night? Yeah. We took something away. We hit them a lot. Yeah. We sacked them five, six times. Yeah. We, and I say we the Falcons. We, we hit them on the ground. Grady Jarrett was in his chest. You know, we was doing well, we, the game plan, remember? Yeah. We said the first half of the game plan. Yeah. But, you know, and you got to give credit to teams. Like, they took away our speed off the field by just dinking and dunking the whole game. Yeah. Well, again, the, the number, 93 to 46, they doubled the amount of plays. Double. So the defense is on the field. That's 93 plays. They ran 93 plays. And, and, again, it's it's quick passes. Yeah. It's five-yard route here. I mean, they never just, like, tried to throw a bomb. Yeah. They, everything was 10, 15-yard intermediate yeah. throws, quick throws. And, like I say, whenever they want the first down, let's go find uh, Jalen Collins. Yeah. Let's, let's go get a first down over there. Let's hit them real quick. Yeah. You know, usually in the NFL game, you like to go – you know, teams both split around 65 plays. That's a lot to play. To put your defense on the field for 93 plays. Ran out of gas. They, they did what Clemson did to Alabama. Exactly. That's, That's what exactly like. what they did. Now, we're just going to run – Volume of plays, yeah, and we just gonna stay on the field. And it looked like that national championship game because they just kept coming at you, kept coming at you, man. And just looking at it, man, and to have really look, I get everybody, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of people in the next few days that's gonna say Cheatrius and all that. Five Super Bowls hard to win, man. Man, again, like I said, ask the Carolina Panthers how hard <laughs> it is to return. Ask Denver. Yeah, it is hard to climb that mountain every year. And you have to figure what drives guys. That's why you have to respect Brady. Even like I tell people about the Buffalo Bills, Jim Kelly, for them to go to four straight Super Bowl, you didn't understand it then. But as you get far away from the game, to to win your conference every year and you represent the conference in the Super Bowl, now that's amazing. Cause think about it, Mace. If you are playing, uh, think about the Falcons' route to the Super Bowl. You had to play a Seattle squad, a Green Bay squad, yeah. then a Patriots. Patriots going to it. They went to Houston. They played Houston. Then they had to play the Steelers. And then they, I mean, it just – every year uh, – Kansas City was – it was Kansas City going – No, it was, uh, Pittsburgh. They played Pittsburgh. It, it, every year those teams get better. So they're going to draft a few players. They're going to get a few free agencies. That's why everybody's like, well, we'll be back next year. I, I, I understand it. Every season is different. Man, Martellus Bennett said something that was so profound. And he was a guy that's always been labeled selfish. Right. And he talked about – being a New England Patriot, you have to – if you don't play team football, he said they went in halftime and told him, listen, we need you to chip on Dwight Freeman. We're going to keep you in the block. He was like, hey. Whatever. Whatever it takes. Because he sees everybody else being unselfish, and he like, well, you know what? Okay, I'm going to stay <laughs> in. And now he's a Super Bowl champion, and now he will be perceived from this point on as a champion. totally different. Whenever you talk about him, like I got Earth win, whenever we say Super Bowl champion. Everyone more. He's the one. And you, you don't get that. And everybody don't get that, man. Everybody don't get it, dude. A lot of people go to these, like we go to NFL events. I ain't get one, man. I'm good. <laughs> I didn't get one. It's hard, man. <clears throat> Dan Marino just said the other day, just the one thing that he regrets. I mean, he, like, loved his career. Great career. Dude, I didn't win it. <sighs> think about greatness. You think about basketball. Everybody dogs Barkley by not winning it. Barkley was an MVP. He's a great, great player. <laughs> Great Patrick play. Ewing, all these players who got greatness, it is not easy. I wish I could say year to year it's going to happen, but last year, the two teams that was in the Super Bowl last year, did he make the playoffs? Bro, they didn't even, they didn't even <laughs> sniff it. They didn't even make the playoffs the last playoffs, year. Bro. They, I mean, it is. <laughs> they didn't even repeat or play in it. They didn't get in the playoffs, man. So when people say, oh, man, next year, I'm not the next year. I didn't play one game at a time. I am that dude. I am that coach to speak one game at a time. One season at a time, because you never know. Falcons said in 2012, you couldn't have told me we weren't gonna be back in the playoffs next year, right? Because we had the squad. Tony Gonzalez was there. We were like, hey man, we Michael Turner in the belt, man. We be back. People, people don't understand this about football. Football is a true year to year thing. Yeah. No matter, you can bring back your entire squad. That team will be totally different from last year's squad. You don't know what's going through people's minds. Like I say, you know, somebody got paid in the off season. Uh, <laughs> you know, somebody got married. Somebody had kids. Uh, somebody had a death in the family. That stuff 
each season is so special, and you gotta you gotta put it in the box. That's I'm, why you gotta respect what the Patriots are doing right now. I mean, you just have and, to. And I'm hoping this is a, a nice the city or the, the team to where it's every year we're competing for it. Judge about social media, nah. But you know, <laughs> it, it, it's early. It's yeah. early. Get out time. We're good time. So when we come time. back, man. We get into our interview with Enrique. That's it, right? Die. We be right back. <laughs> Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com. We came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that I had to have Christ first and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up... I want to be a kid's first computer. I want to be a place on a cold I want to be a football stadium. I want stadium. to be a bike that races around the country. I want to be a bench on a forest trail. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. This is Judge Hatchet, and you're listening to The Crush on SSNATL.com. Before we get into the question interview, I want to make sure I clear it up. Dr. Kevin Dancy can be reached at 678-836-2118. That's 678-836-2118. The question interview is brought to you by Oracy Software. The Oracy team is committed to providing full life cycle support for developing testing and delivering market-driven products. Oracy's model is when a customer engages one of us, they engage all of us. Go to Oracy.com for more information. Maceo, please introduce our guest, sir. Hey, man, very rare that you're able to have a guy who was the top player in the country coming out of high school, man. That's hard to do, man. Everybody don't get that recognition, man. Three-time All-American, man. Pledge to go to all of them, but then change his mind, say, nah, I'm going to go over there to hot toddy. <laughs> oh, Miss, man. Enrique Davis to the microphone. What's going on, Enrique? What's going on? First, I'd like to say thank you guys for having me here. Oh, no, no doubt. No, absolutely. No doubt. Man. Appreciate you. Let me ask you first, Enrique, being that, we, 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 we do a show every Wednesday where we talk about recruiting. Being that number one guy in the recruiting, man, how was that for you? How was the process? What did that feel like, man, for you? Man, it's amazing. You know, it goes by so quick. You know, you have people coming from everywhere in the nation, Yeah. you know, just wanting you to come and just uh, sign, your, sign your name on the dotted line. You know, um, it's, it's it's an amazing feeling. Yeah. You know, but uh, at the same time, you know, these recruits have to understand, you know, sometimes you'll be, uh, there'll be people all around you who you think have your best interest. Mm. And at the end of the day, they don't. Yeah. You know, so... You know, just tell the guys to be careful, you know, and um, the people who are, who've been there for them, you know, from the jump, you know, to who before they blew up, those guys most of the time, you know, they're still, you know, around and, and, and proud for you and, and faithful. Make sure you don't forget those ones, you know, who, who really love you. Right. You know, and that's that's what I say about that. That's a good thing, man. Yeah. Now, just talk to me about being a kid. Right. With over 70 to 80 offers from schools all across the country. I mean, how do you handle that? Like I say, man, it's it's, ama it's amazing. You know, like I said, uh, I remember walking in the in the Win Dixies, right? Um, you know, I remember my me and my little brother Ethan Davis. 
you know, who, uh, who, who, who now the Alouettes, Montreal Alouettes, mm-hmm. you know, he played for the Detroit Lions and Troy University. Mm-hmm. I remember me and my little brother, you know, we used to, first thing we used to do when we went in the, in the grocery store, you know, first thing we, we used to run to the magazine, right over there, over there to the, the magazine, um, you know, where they keep all the college football, right, pro football. Right. You know, you used to just run, run. You can't do that now, but you could just no. run over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we used to just run over there and, and, and look in the magazine. And I, I can remember, you know, running over there and then, and, and all of a sudden, you know, seeing my face, mm-hmm. you know, posted up with my arms folded, you know, in the magazine. And, you know, it was, <laughs> and that was that was just amazing to me, you know. Yeah. You know, fast forward the tape now, what these kids have, well, I can't even imagine it, you know. But you know, just having having people coming from all over in the nation, you know, and just uh. Like I said, it's amazing. It goes by so quick. You have to, I just tell the guys, you have to cherish those times, man. Yeah. Cherish it, you know, because it's not going to last forever. And we just had National Signing Day right. on February 1st. How was your signing day? Oh, man. How was our signing day? Priority training. We had 21 athletes, all 21 senior signed. Mm. All 21 senior signed, man. Wow. All 21 of the guys. You know, so that was, man, to me, man, that's something I'll be talking about until next year and probably even afterwards. Well, well let me just go back to how was it your your day. When oh, you my was, day. Well, I'm, I'm talking I, about the kids. No, 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 because okay. we, we got your kids. kids. We yeah, got your yeah, kids yeah, on yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because we want to talk about, because we want to sometimes talk about Which what one? you went through. Oh, you had two. I yeah. had two. I signed to Auburn originally. Yeah, you did. All right. And then I had to go to uh, Hargrave Military Academy due to the ACT score, needing to get it where it needed to be. Mm. And then from there, um, I ended up going to Ole Miss, you know, uh, you know, looking out for everybody else. Mm. You know, I brought six of my teammates to school with me. You know, <laughs> you know. all with you. Yeah, yeah. But hey, thank God they gave me a free education. You know, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> oh, six of them. Six of them. Six of them. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Now you were talking about the grades, and you you didn't get that test score. What what advice do you give kids today? Because the grades are a big part of it now. Like, mm-hmm. a college can't even talk to you now yeah. without no. the grades. No. What's the advice you get them when they talk about the books? Well, I tell them is take it serious. Mm. You know, don't don't <clears throat> don't wait until you join your senior year. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you got these schools looking at you. You're like, oh, wow, I, I can play some college ball. Right. right. You know, and now it's, well, let me go ahead and, and, and let me go ahead and tighten up in my schoolwork. And, <laughs> you know, it, sometimes that's too late. Yeah. You know, because you, you guys know. I mean, you can pass. You can start. You can pass school and still not be eligible for college. <laughs> right. You know, you can still play football and play and run track or basketball or tennis or whatever it is you love to do and not be eligible. You know. So what I tell the kids, man, and I tell the parents, both. You know, take it serious. You know, yeah. find out what your kids are doing. Get involved. Right. You know, don't don't just say, okay, I got my homework done. Okay, good. Go ahead and about your business. You know, but but really, you know, take heed to, to what's really going on and right. communicate with those teachers. You know, things of that nature right there. That's what I tell them. Yeah. I, I want to talk about transition because okay. one of the big things is is going from where you were at, number one prep, all of that good stuff about your, your, in high school, to now you're going to a different level, right. to, to college. Right. Explain that transition for you. How was it for you? Man, what I say is for the guys who have those five stars on them or those four stars on them, you got a bullseye on you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> first, first off, first off, I mean – you're going to go in there. Some people, you know, you're gonna, they're going to want you to prove yourself right. early. You know, other ones, they're going to have some hate because you came in there, especially if they play your position. They no don't, doubt. They don't want you there. Only you visit, they were trying to discourage you from coming anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you don't want to. They had 30 running backs. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, need to come yeah, in. Yeah, right, right, right. right. So, you know, I tell them, you know, and, and, and you can't ever get content, complacent. You right. know, you have to continue to that same work ethic that you had, you know, because – the guy, the, I feel like the guy's a five-star ball player. I know he had to grind. I know you had to work to get it. Mm. You know, I mean, it, it, and some people say, well, no, it's not, but it's, it's no way possible. You know, so what I would say is, you know, make sure you grind hard. And then for the ones who don't have it, who have to go prove themselves, you know, I tell those guys, man, everybody's on the same level. And that's your chance to prove it then. And, and most of those guys are the ones who go in there real hungry, you know, and strive mm. for the best. You know, but you got to keep that same work ethic all the time. We come back, man. That's a good transition. That's we, amazing. Yeah. He say some of the same stuff yeah. we been saying on Wednesday. <laughs> I tell you, it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. but we, we get to talk to what makes him. He was number one, man. He was, uh, he was, he was the, the guy. guy. He was the guy. The guy. So we get yeah. to talk to him. We come back, man. We're going to talk about priority training, man, and talk about what you're doing for these kids and, and how you incorporate what you've done right. to helping them out. So okay. stay with us, guys. It's the crush. <laughs> Thank you.
Adopt You As Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. You've accidentally cut your daughter's bangs unevenly. Do you A, line things up a centimeter from her hairline? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. No, 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 no. Sweatbands are so hot right now. Everyone's wearing them. Like that basketball player and that other basketball player. B, get spiritual. Mom, where did all the mirrors go? A reflection could never capture our true selves. Huh? Beauty is within. Um. C. Look on the bright side. Less time blow drying, more time texting. Or D. Show empathy. Mom, you really don't have. Ta da! To... Twinsies. <laughs> I kind of love it. <laughs> As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I'm an expert, and I'm a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. I want to be a warm place on a cold I want to be day. A football stadium. I want stadium. to be a bike that races around the country. I want to be a bench on a forest trail. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. This is Akeem Dent, linebacker of the Houston Texans. You are listening to The Crush on the Sensation Station Network. And we're back. We're here with man Enrique Davis, a priority training man. And uh, make sure, I know you had some more questions you want to throw at him real quick. Yeah, because I want to get into this uh, priority training sports performance. How did you come up with the concept and, and, and what motivated you to get this going? Well, the thing with priority training is there's so many athletes that get overlooked and, and so many athletes, you know, that, you know, they, they just wonder, you know, well, why, why am I not going to this big school or, or why am I not getting the, the type of looks? And it really started with, really, to get me going, um, I always loved helping out the youth. You know, I always loved trying to help these guys get better. This is something I used to just do in my, in my spare time, pretty much, you know. And um, it got to the point that, you know, to see my little brother, you know, um, Ezra Gray, you know, at Alabama State now, you know, to see him, I mean, he, he's a better player than I was, you know, when I was in high school, you mm -hmm. know, but, you know, at the same time, you know, I was number one player in the country, and then <clears throat> he was battling trying to get an offer, you know, due to size, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, 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 what, six foot, 215 pounds, ran a 4-3-40 laser at the Nike camp. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? He ran a 4-3-1 at Michigan State, though. You know, but he's 5'8", uh, 153 pounds. I test. I test. Yeah. Right? I test. So to see him going through that and, and, and struggling as hard made me really communicate and connect with a lot of other coaches that I used to. And in doing that time, I started doing it for other kids I was training at the same time. You know, and um, it got to the point where I was like, man, this is, you know, I'm really making a big difference in what I'm doing. You know, and, and I started, you know, just, you know, expanding and, and you know, coaches start calling you from, all around, you know, looking for players, and mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it's, and it, more people just wanted to come to you. They say, and they tell you, a, a coach may tell me, tell me, well, yeah, I like the kid, but I don't like the fact that he's he 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 um chops, he's choppy on his steps, he's not explosive, right. you know, he doesn't sink his hips, you know, he doesn't have good balance. So me, I say, okay, well, let's work on that, mm -hmm. you know, let's work on that, let's let's try to turn you into the top in the country. I and mean, my goal, man, is to get all these guys free education. I'm not I'm not telling these guys that. You'll come out here and, and, and go to the NFL, even though in the last two years we have had 22 out of 23 guys go pro out of our program. You know, but I'm but I'm not saying that everybody's gonna go pro. Right. You know who trains with us. What I'm saying is, 
my goal is to help you guys be the best ball player, period, out there on the football field, right. you know, and, and possibly, you know, hopefully go get you a free education, you know, out of it, you know. So, that's, so let's that's break down the programs. Do. What are all the programs that you have included in priority training? Okay, well, priority training, first off, um, we keep God first, right? Mm-hmm. We keep God first. Yeah. So so I have uh, Arthur Hawkins, uh, FCA area director, as well as Sid Calloway. Um, those guys, they come in, they're a part of our program, they come in give them that real, what's real important, which is that knowledge and that word. You know, I get them to come in there and speak with the youth. Um, they do that on the weekends. Um, I also, you know, have different motivational speakers that come in, you know, and come talk to our come talk to our kids. It could be somebody who may have, you know, coached at a, at a collegiate level or pro level, or maybe somebody who, you know, started his own barbershop. Mm. You know, just different people, you know, mm. showing them that you can be successful outside of football. Right. You know, and the air goes under the ball for everybody one day. Then we have the ACT mm. and SAT prep set up to teach these guys academically how to be, you know, how to be able to take the test, mm-hmm. you know, and, and and so that we can't use that as an excuse to not get into school mm-hmm. because it's there for you to take, you know. Um, also, what we also have is interview prep to teach these guys how to pronunciate words correctly and how not to get shy in front of a camera and not to get tangled in that so-called web a lot of the times that the media traps our kids in, you know. So we have all that going on. And, of course, with football skills training, um, we have diff- every, every position, you know, we have d- various coaches who've done their thing, you know, at different levels, you know, and um, those, are, those are our coaches. And we also do combine, combine training and uh, combine prep, teaching these guys how to prepare for camps. And we run, we run our program basically like a camp, especially on Saturdays. So Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8. Um, what we do is, uh, like I said, combine training and then football skills training. Um, Wednesdays is ACT, SAT prep. And then on Saturdays uh, from 10 to 12, is when we have uh, just football skills training, more of like a camp-like atmosphere. So we go get it, man. We work. We go get it, man. How hard is it to get kids to understand that everybody's not going to go Division One? Mm-hmm. How, how hard is that? I mean, it can get tough at times, but there's a school out there for everybody. That, 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 that's the thing. That, yeah, if man. you really want to play college football, <laughs> if, you wanna if, play. if you really want if you if you see not not not, I think I want to play. Not I want to play today, but you know, but I, I, at the same time I want to go hang out with my friends. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. But if you if you ser- if you're serious about the, trying to play college football at the next level, there's a school out there for you. Yeah. You know, it may not be Alabama, right? But it may be, it, you know, it, it, it may be a South Alabama, mm-hmm. it may be a Troy, it may be an Alabama State. It may be, you know, there may be a, a, a Sanford. There's, there's all kinds of schools in Alabama. You just named six schools that play football. <laughs> in Alabama, <laughs> right. And they give us scholarships. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, so, you know, it, it, and that's the thing, you know, and the thing is, it's all about trying to get us a free education right now. Yeah. Yeah, trying to get some money, trying to get some money. So get some money to get some free, some free education. So that's what I try to tell the kids. And if you don't get free education, still somebody paying something. Right. Paying real, something. Real quick, man, just seeing, that, before we go to break, seeing how you're, you're able to affect kids. How has that been for you as a, as, with this program and opening it up? How, how has it been for you with that? I Man, I love it. You know, it's, I love it. You know, um, that's the reason I, my major is criminal justice. But I didn't want to be a police officer or a lawyer. I wanted to be a juvenile career counselor. Mm. You know, mm. but, you know, but you know, because I love impacting the youth. Even though the, you know that's not the, the the path God led me down. He led me down this one, which I enjoy even more. You know, but um. I love them, man. You know, you know, and, and the fact is that, you know, to have these relationships with these guys and these guys always calling you still, even from school and whatnot, for advice, you know, and, and be able to help them and, and, you know, seeing it impact their life and, and that they value what you say, it's just a blessing, you right. know. Yeah, it's a blessing. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. We come back, man. We're going to put you in this thing that we call the hot seat. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Rapid five we questions. Hope ready. Y'all, y'all didn't tell me this. Yeah, 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 we don't tell nobody to talk about it. Yeah, somebody got to cut off Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com, and let Truisms help you to the next level. Great leaders aren't born. 
They're made, and not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. -face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Okay, so five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. This is Queen Harrison, U.S. 100 meter hurdler, and I'm rocking with the crush. Time for the hot seat hotline. Four, three, two, one. Hey, man, we're going to the hot seat where we're throwing some questions at our man, Enrique Davis. Macio, you want to start off, man? Yeah, man. Life as a running back in the SEC. Come on, man. Life as a running back in the SEC? Yeah, what is it like? Yeah, everybody wanting to be your friend and, and be around you, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Toughest lesson you learn playing college football? Toughest lesson? Um, make wise decisions. You know, mm. make wise decisions. And all that you do, and know, even though you think no one knows and no one's watching, someone's always watching, you know, and, and it make wise decisions in everything you do. Oh, uh, the preppy tailgates at Ole Miss. You know, I just walked through the Grove. I didn't get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 used to, I used to be at the, you know, I just walked through the Grove. I didn't really ever hang out in the Grove. Very uppity. Very uppity. Yeah. Very uppity. Yeah, yeah. Good people, though. Very, I, I can My believe that. My family in Oxford, yeah. I can believe yeah, that. Good people. Getting your degree. Man, amazing. Yeah. A blessing. Amazing. That's what's up. Something no one can take away from you is that knowledge. The first time you saw your name on the back of the jersey at Ole Miss. Man, it was a wonderful feeling. I got a chance to see it in the stores, too. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't get any money off of it. <laughs> Didn't get any money off of it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it's, it's cool, though, you know, you, you know, to see people with the jersey on. You know, man, it's, it's awesome. It's mm -hmm. awesome. When you had your chance to train your first athlete, mm -hmm. What were your your feelings in doing that? Were you trying to get them to a spot? You just wanted to do your best? How was it when you first did that? I think I, I've all just always been doing it. Right. You know, even when I played ball, every time I come back home, the whole high, all the high school kids would get up with me and I just go through drills, you know? So, yeah, I just enjoy it, man. Tall, sweet, but inside power play. I like power. I like power. I like, I like down here. I'm a down here guy. Down here I like guy. powers and zones. I like yeah, powers yeah. and zones. That's that's me. That's me all day long. But at the same time, I can I can I, I like I like I like stretches and tall sweeps. Anything to get the ball in your hand and get down here though. I like it all. You down here. Yeah, I love like playing ball. Was there ever any one player in it that you played against that you were like, man, I'm gonna have to bring my lunch because he's gonna bring it on that side. Man, I think uh, what's that big boy's name? Man, uh, used to play for LSU. Was it Dorsey? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Dorsey. oh, man, he came through one game, man. <laughs> Look, unblocked. Got the ball. As soon as I, as soon as I got the you got to run the track. You see him coming, but you, know, you got to run the track anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Block it uh, you know, as soon as I got the ball, I mean, the boy gave me a concussion. Wow. Right, but I kept playing through the game, and, and it slowed the game down. I played pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Really, though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 We got to have one more? Loudest, loudest stadium in the SEC. Man, to be honest with you, uh, the loudest one that we probably played in was when we were number four team in the country um, versus South Carolina, Gamecocks. Yeah, it was real loud. Oh, yeah. And, and, and then the quietest probably was when we uh, hushed Tim Tebow and those Gators up. You know, <laughs> when, 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 you, when, you, when you can hear a pin drop in the stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, we come back, man. We'll finish up with our man. Right, right, Stay with right. us. <laughs> Green light. Hey girl. School zone. I'm getting hungry. Car changing lanes. You want to meet me for pizza? Stop sign. Intersection clear. Yeah. Street. Pizza sounds good. 
Ball in street? Girl in street! <gasps> it's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text, stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Okay, so five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, and father of five. I'm also an expert on drama. There's a good kind that comes with having a house full of kids, and there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. And lead the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Coming to you live from Sensation Station. Listen to the crush, get a rush. Live with Stacey Harris, the best radio station online. Hey, we're back. We're still here with Enrique, man. Davis, let me ask you this, Enrique. Out of all of the accomplish, accomplishments you've had, what is the one that you are more proud of? Being married to the love of my life, Kia Davis. Yeah. I like that. Valentine's Day yeah, coming up. Yeah, to get it in. Yeah, Davis. Yeah. That's my greatest accomplishment. Get it in. Yeah, That's what's up. My family. Get it in. My family, man. Now, tell everybody more about priority training, where they can find you guys, all that good stuff, because clearly, you, you, clearly you, you got something good going on up there. All right. Well, but you can go check out the website. It's prioritytraining.org. Again, that's priority, P-R-I-O-R-I-T-Y-T-R-A-I-N-I-N-G dot O-R-G. Prioritytraining.org is the website that you can check us out on. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, ptraining 15 um, you can give us a call. Um, my, you can call. Matter of you can call my personal number. You don't even have to call the office. My number is eight five zero two five seven thirty six zero eight eight five zero two five seven thirty six zero eight. Um, and like I said, you can follow us on Instagram. Priority Training. Again, the website is PriorityTraining.org, and my number is eight five zero two five seven thirty six zero eight. And as a matter of fact, we have a college bus tour coming up here shortly. Mm. You know, so you might want to go ahead and jump on that. Um, we're going to Michigan, Michigan State, Notre Dame, uh, Illinois, Southern Illinois, and more, you know, Eastern Michigan, Central Michigan. So if you think you can play out there, going to the, a big-time showcase out there as well, you know, so if you think if you want to be a part of that, let me know. But, again, we won't just bring anybody. You have to make sure you're ready, you know. So, But, but our job is to get you ready. You know, right. we, our job right. is to get you ready. So, you know, we, we got that coming up. And um, shouts out to the Elite Showcase coming up. Um, you know, my man Tatum, you know, Elite Showcase. Uh, that's coming up as well This well on Sunday, you know, so be there. How many do you have listed with y'all right now in your program? Right now we're about 50. Mm. 50, yeah. But how many kids will you take on this trip? Uh, it really depends on how, who really wants to go. And last year, I only, last year I only took 11, you know. Last year I only took 11, but we, but we fly, you know. Okay. So it depends on who wants to go. Um, we'll go through a, a certain drills and, uh, different tests to make sure you're ready. And it's funny you say that because I can remember coaching. I had two or three guys who would tell, listen, if you're not come by and ready, don't go. Right. And they end up losing scholarship offers because they went to put up. up bad for the time. That's, that's true. And that's why I tell our kids, man, make sure that you're ready, you know, before you go out there. Yeah, most definitely. Some some of the advice, some of the best advice you give kids today. Yeah. Keep God first. Remain focused on what it is you want to do and be a leader. You know, keep God first, remain focused, and be a leader. The three things I can say, you know, you'll be successful in life as long as you do those three things. 
and I, and again, I like the point that you drove home just about. Listen, it's a fit for you guys everywhere. Get get the D one thing. I mean, if, if you got those offers, good. But somebody will think you can play football if you keep your keep your options open. Right. I always think it's easier, man. If yeah, everybody want to go to a certain level, but if you got a school that loves you, man, you can be comfortable and play as hard as you can instead of trying to make things right. What drives you? You, you got a brother who you know, like you say, he's five eight mm-hmm. and all that. But to see him in his grind and what he's doing at Alabama State. That tells a lot about it. It ain't all about size sometimes. Right. Man. I mean, 4.0 GPA, uh, you know, true freshman, running back. Yeah. Um, pound for pound, fastest man on the team. I mean, strongest man on the team, man, fastest man on the team. You know, so um, it's just it's just drive, man. It's just you see kids, I mean, like I said, man, you don't don't ever get complacent, you know, and don't ever get too comfortable. Somebody working. Somebody always wants your spot. <laughs> <laughs> always. And that's, and that's life, though. Yeah. That's life. You know, that's everything in life, man. So. You know, especially just, with when you got a guy who's like, oh, I'm like you said, oh, I'm a three, two star, whatever they call it, uh, no star. I want that, right? I want your spot. You right. down here running, ain't running hard, right. okay? You, you partying, hanging out, you know what I mean? <laughs> you coming to practice, you drunk or high, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, it happens. It yeah. happens. And, and, it happens. And that kid over there working. And he's working. He over there working. He's going to bed at nine, you trying to get up early. But, <laughs> and you showing up late for six six a.m. workout. He out there beating you in every sprint. Yeah. And it's crazy right. because. That it's very true. Hard work, Trump talent. When the talent don't work hard, yeah. that's, hey, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> one of the greatest sayings of all time. Man, just boy, we, we don't know how to tell you. I mean, just and that's the thing I want to tell you. Just just work hard. Yeah. it'll work out. Right. It, 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 I can't work with you if you don't want to work with yourself, man. Right. You know. But what I'm again, saying? this is a guy who was the top player in the country, yeah. and he's saying, listen, he's saying the same things. All he's right. saying the same thing. When y'all gonna listen? Yeah, that's the thing, man. Just. I, you can't teach it enough, you know, things I tell kids, what, hey, coach, what I can do. Man, how you working hard for it? That's the right. first question. How you uh-huh. grades? You doing what you're supposed to do? Uh-huh. And then y'all there grinding, man. If you ain't grinding. I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you this too, Coach. You know, um, and when they say grind, it's, it's, it's more than just, you know, running sprints. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Look, look, but, like, you know, the training aspect is something that's big that you need to do. But, you know, outside of that, don't 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 just – Think your coach is supposed to take care of your stuff recruiting wise. Mm. I, just, I just put it on, on us. You I mean uh, you know the thing is, I mean nowadays with social media, yeah, man. you can you can put your own film out there. You can you 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 know you can use that as a as a tool to sell yourself. You know all day long. You know send your film to, and, and the thing is, you may send this coach this to coaches every single day, and and you may say, man, I, ain't, I don't have any hit back, hit backs. No one's talking back. But that doesn't mean they're not seeing it. Yeah, and right. that film is good enough. Well, uh, it, only take one. It, all it takes is one. Only take one to like you. One. <laughs> and they might be not saying that to you just to see what you're saying on social yeah, media, yeah. how you're responding to people. All it takes is one. Only take one. And if you get that one to fall in love with you, boy, yeah. you be good. Yeah. Well, Coach, man, this has been great, man. You you know, I'm glad to hear about priority training and, and some of the lessons that you teach, man. We got to gotta bring it back to summertime. Oh, yeah. When, we when, the, when the grind real. Yeah, we get a man. Grind real right now. Hell, yeah. what up? Oh, yeah. there right. I'm telling you. you I, I, I got to invite you guys out here to come check us out sometime. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out real quick, Coach, before we go, man. Yeah, shout out again, uh, my beautiful wife. Shout out to mom. See, my mama just uh, Facebook Live. What's going on, mom? <laughs> hey, uh, Jabari. Shout out to my man Edmonton Eskimos, known him since a, since a little man. Train him as well. Shout out to my little brother. Uh, shout out to my whole family. Shout out to Priority Training Family. Um, you know, and uh, shout out to the Crush. Thank you, man. That's it, man. I got. It. Hey, man, I'm about to take a quick photo with our guy, and when we come back, man, we get into the rundown. Stay with us, it's the Crush. Uncle Dan, Mom, Dad. If you store your guns properly, so not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. Safer when my friends come over. As your neighbor, I'll feel safer. As a school teacher, I'll feel safer. We'll all feel safer. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, Be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. So... 
I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean, okay, something as simple as walking around the block. He's got this leash thing, and he puts me on one end and him on the other, and I'm just taking him around. I, I think he's afraid of getting lost. Without that leash and me guiding him along, I don't think he'd find his way back home. But it's kind of cute. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, and father of five. I'm also an expert on drama. There's the good kind that comes with having a house full of kids, and there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. And lead the drama to actors like me. Bro by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. Okay, so five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Hey, everybody, this is your girl, actress Reese Odom, and you are tuned in to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. Welcome to this Crush Rundown brought to you by Parish Capital. At Parish Capital, we help you achieve your financial goals by providing high quality advisory service and making smart investment decisions. Go to Parish Capital, it's P W R I S H Capital with the for more information, Maceo, you want to start it off, bro? It's official. Kyle Shanahan has been named the San Francisco 49ers head coach, man. He's the guy. All right, y'all. Y'all say y'all happy about it. We won't see. He is the guy now. I just had a, I won't say who sent the message to me, but it said it'd be a damn shame he won a Super Bowl before we do. I know who sent that message. <laughs> I know he said, hey, look, he couldn't even call. He's so distraught. He couldn't even call. Hey, you get a call, man. Yeah. yeah. We didn't get a call today, man. Yeah. I understand, Mike. I'm with you, dog. Oh, did I say his name? Yeah, yeah you said his name. You last said. night, 111.3 million viewers watched the Super Bowl last night. That's mm. the top four in American history. Mm. Uh, the number one is 114.5 million viewers back in 2015. But to, that was a pretty good one, man. For, uh, that's fourth all time. That's all right, man. No doubt. Yes. All right. What you got, man? Hey, man, LeBron James is quietly trying to make another push for uh, Carmelo Anthony, man. Oh, he, he really he really wants Melo in Cleveland, but Cleveland said they're not giving up. On love. Uh, Kevin Love. Yeah, we ain't giving you love. No, no. I mean, we need somebody to crash the boards. Yeah, because Carmelo ain't going to do it. No, nah, he's not going to do it at all. Hey, Amen. Believe that. Hey, Amen. So, Brady, Super Bowl champion Brady, mm -hmm. is going to give his nice truck up to James White. Because he feels like, you know, I don't need another car. I'm good. I'm right. give it to my man, Jane White, who had right. three touchdowns in yeah. the game. You know, and he had, you know, this cat had 14 receptions, man. Yeah. Had three touchdowns. And he had he accounted for 20 of the points for that. Yeah, man. and you know what's great? He did it for uh, he did it for Malcolm Butler that year. Yeah. He did, he did it for Malcolm Butler. Yeah. Hey, man. It well, is you got him. I mean, why, I mean, why would you keep him, man? You just, you know, let you keep, let the guys who just coming in the league, hey, man, here's your car, dog. You mm -hmm. deserve it. Yeah. You got me out of a lot of stuff there in that game, bro. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Hey, I'm going to reward you with this car, man. What you got, bro? Hey, man, Sacramento Kings GM Velotti Devout says that, oh, uh, don't wait in the heck we trade Boogie Cousins, man. So they want Boogie in Sacramento for a long time. So so much for that. I mean, you, you don't. Boogie is a double double machine. You don't. Man. You don't give up that kind of talent. Yeah. You don't for give up what? What you gonna get? Right. What you gonna get? What are you gonna get for him? I mean, he's. What you? What tier you think he's at? First, second, third tier player. Boogie, he's second on his way to uh that that, that higher tier. If he went so crazy, that's the thing. He's just crazy. I think Boogie. Boogie's himself out of some plays. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Boogie gon' boogie. Boogie gon' boogie, man. Boogie gon' boogie. Speaking of that, NBA is fine. Golden State head coach. Uh, little guy. I can't think of his name right now. He went ham. Steve Kerr. He went ham. Uh, 25 grand for verbal abuse of uh, official he, and sad he, overtime loss. He went ham. Well, he cussed out everybody. He used he, every. Yeah. 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 He was he looking was, at the game like, can they get the camera off him? Yeah, he, he was about was, that life. I Listen, I always say when you go out bad, 
go all the way out. Yeah, man. When you if you gonna go out, <laughs> they gonna kick you out, dog. So go out. Get your full twenty five thousand worth. Just don't hit them. Everything else you can do, just don't hit them. But get twenty five grand, ass to you. Get get all of it. What you got, dog? Hey, man. John Wall says. Keep paying attention to the Washington Wizards, man. Say they are going to make a legit run in the uh, in the East. They got a good backcourt, dude. John Wall is that deal. Yeah, he's playing out of his mind right now. Thing is, right now they're playing Cleveland. Cleveland's up four in the third in the third quarter. But yeah, they they, it, they got a good squad, you know. But that East could be tough for them getting past Cleveland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's slow. It's just mercy. they gonna make a run. You still got Toronto's backcourt, and you got them, but. You know, Wall is playing ridiculous ball right now, bro. John Wall, and he's still a free agent in the tennis shoe market. He sure is. I thought, uh, I thought Nike got him. No, he's still a free. He wearing different shoes. He 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 been wearing Jordans for about a month. Really? Yeah. Cause he left Reebok. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he sure did. yeah. He, he left Reebok. Then everybody leave Reebok. Yeah, man. It's an AI. AI. We need to do another, another top lifetime. five. We might have to redo our top five shoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Free ball might be driving. Anyway, right now, so somebody on in, in sports, they're so bored and they get so – well, they're already getting our top five teams in the NFL for next year, man. Oh, God. The way too early. The way top too five. early top five. Right now is Seahawks will be five, Packers four, Cowboys three, Falcons two, Patriots one. Mm. Mm. As a, what shocks me is they got four NFC teams in that top five. Yeah. But they don't think highly of the AFC. I see. You know, the quarterbacks in the AFC, I mean, do you blame them? Yeah, Ben's getting older. Yeah. You know, and Houston, well, you know what they mean. Kansas City, you got Alex. Yeah, the only man. team I thought might have slipped back up in there was the Raiders. And it's, you know, because of what they Yeah, you got to see, see, see what the uh, injury to the quarterback going to be about. That was a big injury for Carter. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. What you got, man? Hey, man, uh, further proof that Las Vegas always wins. <laughs> uh, the Patriots' Super Bowl win shatters previous Vegas record with $138.5 million wagered. People drop some bets down, man. Oh, yeah. They drop some bets down. You know that's what a lot of conspiracists say. You know Vegas ain't going to lose twice. Cause you know during that uh, Alabama Clemson game, they lost a ton of money. Yeah, man. Y'all cut that out. Yeah. Cut that out. Can I tell you, 106 people can't keep the same secret. Yeah, man. Five people can't even keep a secret. How do you think 106 people are going to keep a secret? If they keep secret, man, TMZ will be out of a job. <laughs> Bill Belichick said it was insulting to say that uh, Brady was motivated by the flake gate. No, Bill, it's, inf- it's insulting for you to say he wasn't inf- <laughs> about to flip. Can you imagine? Let me just ask you this, Mace. The guy that put you in suspension has to hand you the trophy. They did it with class, man. I did, but I'm thinking in the back of the mind. I'm still looking at you like, give me the trophy. You don't want to. Give me the yeah, trophy. I mean, and give me the MVP, too. Go ahead and give me the yeah, trophy. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, again, two class guys. And they handled it with class. Now, they probably a lot of stuff said behind the scene. <laughs> but this, this is the NFL. They're not going to let you go up there and, and, and do nothing crazy. They might cut you off when you go up there. It, it's just not going to happen. They, they they wouldn't even televise that thing. So, best believe it was a lot of debriefing and uh, a lot of meetings and stuff in the background. But they got it done, man. They got it done. Yeah. They got it done. No doubt. <laughs> they got it done. What you got for us, man? Hey, man, Ryan Leaf, former uh, number two overall pick of the San Diego Chargers, he says he thinks Johnny Manziel can get back into football. Yeah. Sage advice from uh, one guy who got kicked out of the NFL <laughs> about a guy who's out the NFL. You know what's funny about that, though, is Manziel signed about an hour, an hour and a half. He was signing autographs. Well, Manziel trying to do whatever he can to get back in the game. Man, Johnny, it's not going to happen, Johnny. It's Johnny. not going to happen. Jonathan. Who, who's going to sign Johnny Manziel? Jonathan. Why are you doing that, Jonathan? Would you want Jonathan in your locker room? Can you imagine Jonathan having he smells champagne or something? <laughs> Man, bump that if he if he out, out on the west coast or anywhere and he smell uh, the herbal essence. Yeah, the herbal essence. Yeah, he could be a spray or bottle. Man, he not he not about that life, man. He not stop. We gotta take a quick break. Stay with us. This is Judge Hatchett. This is Lamar Batman Carroll. Yo, this is Teddy Parrish. 
This is Keon Carpenter, former Atlanta Falcon. You are tuned into the crush on Sensation Station Network. Hey man, we'll give a shout out to Doug Pepper Painting and Pressure Washing with over 30 years of experience. The smart people call Doug Pepper Painting and Pressure Washing. Say that twice hard. Interior, exterior, commercial, or residential, Doug Pepper. Pepper does it all. Is your house looking ugh? Call on Doug. Doug Pepper Painting and Pressure Washing, 404 966 3361. Hey, man, we're still in our crush rundown, man. Did you finish last one or did I finish last one? Uh, I think I went last. Okay. But I can go again if you want me to. Go again, man. Hey, man, one of the biggest haters in the world, mm-hmm. Jason Whitlock, he applauded the voters for not voting in Terrell Owens to the Hall of Fame, man. I usually don't say that guy's name. I give that guy no play because he, 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 he uses a negative platform to get his followers. And he just try to go against the grain, man. Bruh, you, yeah, anyway, let's keep going. I wanted to say, we're going to talk more about that tomorrow than the NFL saver, but... Certain guys use certain platforms to to make themselves look good, man. Yeah, Yo, dude, just, you're you're a clown, dude. And it just it's just painful to see sometimes. Is that what you got to do to get your job, bro? Right. Don't do it. Right. Uh, you, you, and, and and we'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. But um, were you surprised by anybody who got voted in? <sighs> I was shocked that Kurt Warner got. Nah, I wasn't really shocked that Kurt Warner. Definitely was shocked that Jason Taylor got in. He that t- that threw me for a loop. I, I looked at that a little bit, and, and I saw it was Terrell Davis, Jason Taylor, uh, Kurt Warner, um, Morton Anderson. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones. Don't leave out Jerry. Please say the Jerry. Please say the Jerry. Jerry Jones got in. JJ. I'm missing a few. Greatest owner in uh, the NFL. I'll find him in a minute. But th- that, that class, we all know who was left out more than we know who got in. And no. that's the funniest thing about it. Speaking of which, man, speaking of Hall of Fame, the HBCU tribute by the NFL was real nice. I liked it. Uh, didn't hear it, but I'm going to say hopefully I can see it again. Uh, but the shout out, you know, to see the HBCU players who went through those HBCUs. Big for recruiting, baby. Went to Big the, for recruiting. Went to the league and got them a gold jacket. Got them a gold jacket. It was quite a few fellas. And then people don't understand. They would start looking. I'm sure a lot of young people like, Jerry Rice went to him. You won. Yeah, man. I thought Jerry Rice went to Notre Dame. Aeneas Williams? No. Oh, no. Bro, them brothers. Were. Doug Williams, the Super Bowl champion? Yeah. Yeah. Grambling. Yeah. Yeah. It just was a good thing. They play good. football everywhere. Yeah, man. And you just, you get your chance, man. Just go play. Just go play, man. You can't get to the Super Bowl playing on the bench. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in the league, man. You got to go get your game on, man, and play, bro. What you got, dog? Hey, man. It's- Steph Curry, he's a go for USA basketball. He said he will uh, play for Team USA in the World Cup uh, in the Tokyo Olympics. Steph usually don't do this kind of stuff right here, but I'm guess he like, you know, hey, the older guy, the older re- regime has moved on. It, it, it's time for me to, you know, I guess. And with Kevin Durant, he should have energy now. He ain't gonna yeah. Play that much. yeah. I ain't hating. I'm just saying you got a guy scoring 35 points right beside him. Hey, man, make it do what it do. Make it do what it do. Yeah. Hey, man, just speaking of which, man, making it do what it do, uh, you know, Tyrod Taylor had surgery rehabbing, and now he's still rehabbing it Monday mm-hmm. on groin surgery. I, I think of certain injuries that I don't want. Yeah. That's one of them. Especially a mobile quarterback. Now you, that, that's that growing, tough. That growing, any, any running position? Yeah, man, you, you don't want to do that. They're saying that they could release. I'm reading a little quick right here by March 11th to release him before 30.7 million of his contract becomes guaranteed. He will be out of there, buddy. They March gonna, 11th, he will not be a bill. They gonna say that though, <laughs> but it, it's a spot for Tyrod and uh, yeah, man, NFL, yeah. man. Tyrod get yeah, Tyrod he'll put his work in to get another job. Yeah, he get a job, man. Yeah, he'll get another yeah. job, man. What you got, bro? Hey, man, Leonard Fournette say he cried like a baby because he didn't play in the uh, bowl game the LSU played in. Man, he say it was a coach's decision. Say it was hard for him. Okay. It couldn't be that hard. Uh, you, you signed your deal to Under Armour. Uh, you out in Arizona training. Hey man, life good for you, man. That, the, the running back position is fine. It's in great hands at LSU. Man, just keep counting your dough, my dude. Yeah. Okay. I go with you. Well, you know that's good for the camera. Good. Good news. Yeah. <laughs> we come back, man. Really? Uh oh. <laughs> you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. 
or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie, but Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special, sit down, and save her. Marie Callender's, it's time to save People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Macy O'Hurry. It's your boy, E. Glaze. You listen to the dopest sports show on radio. It's the Crush on Sensation Station Network. Damn, Gina. <laughs> yeah. Really, man? Really, Glaze? Really, Crush fans? This is the section of the show where we question the intelligence of our sports brethren. Yeah, man, it's really. Ooh, boy. It is really time. Yes, indeed. All right, man, I'll let you go first, man. Hey, man, really New England Patriots equipment style. Y'all gonna let somebody come in and steal Tom Brady game jersey, man? It got to be somebody on the equipment staff. It's y'all job to pack and unpack the equipment. So y'all think y'all just gonna get away with <laughs> stealing the most uh <laughs> most expensive piece of jersey in the world. Something about that equipment squad. First they hey, man, play shady. balls and take shady. out jerseys, man. Shady. Two days now, listen. They call the Texas police. Police say it's top priority to find Tom Brady's Super Bowl 51 jersey because of all the historical significance of this jersey. So, New England Patriot equipment staff, really. There's going to be some guy walking down the street like, I got Tom Brady. You done, man. We, we yeah, I know they, 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 they waiting for that thing to pop up on eBay. They going to get you. So, I'm going to go through my list of them real quick. I'm going to just start with Kyle Shanahan. Mm. Congratulations, buddy. Five runs in a whole half. And you're about 25 by you go to the halftime up by 20. I don't understand it. Uh, but you going around now saying, "Oh yeah, my bad, everybody." Dog, we don't need that man on the day after, right? You could right. run some leads and some some zones and some power plays. Just run, hey man, get that thing. Devontae will average about seven yards a carry. Just run the ball, man. Run the ball, man. Run the ball. But Jay, you're saying fan now. But you know what though? I'm gonna tell everybody who's a Falcon fan is, be careful what you ask for. Yeah. Y'all wanted him out, he's gone. Welcome to Chip Kelly era. Yeah, we come and bring somebody else who might be a whole different offense. Matt Ryan going to be running zone read. Yeah, can you imagine? Do you know how long it takes Matt to get around the curve? Matt going to be running inside zone. Be careful what you ask for. Then you're going to have wildcat formations with Julio at <laughs> quarterback. Oh, okay. Be careful what you, what you got, man. Hey, man, really Atlanta Falcons. Uh Y'all have truly extra place in history now. We your history, man. You will forever be known as the team that gave up a 25-point lead. 25. With 18 minutes left to play. You did a lot that game. You went to overtime. Man, the, the Houston Oilers, thank you, because now they yeah. don't have to hear about they had the most epic collapse ever, yeah. man. Yeah, that was collapse. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Really Atlanta Falcons? Yeah. Right, Ryan. I'm going to give you a really, buddy. It was up 28-20. You got to get rid of that ball when the band coming at you like that, man. Yeah. You gotta throw, I, I used to call the drill, throw it to your mama. Throw it to your – till you can get that man, thing out there. Slang that, so that thing far. as far as you can slang it, man. <sighs> as long as it ain't in the field to play, baby. But, hey, man, you, you play well, but you, you can't get that sack up. That in that situation, man. Yeah, so that's man, a big game hey, situation right and there. And all y'all who blame Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan quiet as kept, y'all. He had a perfect passer rating through three oh, quarters. He played his butt off. Right. So, But you know how that is in a game like that? Every play matter, man. Every every play matter? Every play matter, man. I'm going to go on top of that all. Devontae, you had a great game, man, but don't go in the press the next day talking about some, 
That wasn't my man. He went right by you. He went right by you. He was your guy. I don't care if he wasn't your guy. Touch him. Pass, pass, pro. If anything break the line, you got to check. At least touch Before him. you go. Don't look back and say, who that guy? Yeah. That's, that's your the, quarterback on the ground right there, That's man. one of them lookout blocks. <laughs> Matt. That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the lookout block. I didn't get him, man. I didn't get him. What you got, man? Hey, man, really all y'all sensitive Facebook fans, <laughs> man. Hey, man, I didn't know y'all played the game, man. What y'all mad about, man? If you talk trash and celebrate all week, man, you got to be able to take it. You know, I'm, I'm giving all y'all a hug, man. Y'all sensitive. You in your feelings, man. 24-hour rule, man. Let it go. Y'all blocking people. Y'all falling out. I seen a couple of posts talking about something. They beat somebody up in the third or fourth grade. It ain't that serious, man. I saw my daughter showed me a snap of a New England Patriot fan and Falcon fan in another home. Getting it on. I mean, swinging. Man, social media has turned y'all into some crybabies, man. Swinging. Hey, dog. And you know that New England dude must have been giving it to him that last. Listen, <laughs> y'all will never know what it's like to wake up to being tagged over 15, 1,600 times. Y'all y'all don't live that life. I do. Everybody kept asking me, how you doing, Glad? I'm all right. I'm here. Yeah. So, I mean, you have to listen. I'm probably the biggest trash talker in the world. But guess what I don't do? I don't run and hide. I, I'm going to talk that noise, and I'm going to get up. I'm going to talk some more noise. Like Mr. baby. Here I go. Here I go, man. <laughs> Listen, man. I didn't being so sensitive, I man. didn't log off. I was on. You can find me. Put man. your keyboards down, man. Take your ski mask off while y'all sending these mean tweets and uh, Facebook posts. Man, don't nobody care about that, man. And like listen, that. and you got to announce to everybody that uh, you're going to unfriend everybody. Just unfriend them. Who cares? Hey, man. Can I get my last one in? Please. Atlanta Falcons, man. Mm. 25 points. And I don't want to – and see, it's here's the so thing. Hard Y'all want to make it this guy's fault goodbye. and that guy's fault. 25-point leads are team's mm. fault. <laughs> That's a team problem. I don't know. Where was Dan Quinn? Was he not cussing at somebody? Was he not throwing stuff at nobody? Keep it going, keep it going. It was he not throwing at some people out there? It's a team problem. 25-point leads are team issues. And what we been through. And you think about it, guys. We've been through this before. We might not have a 25-point lead in the 2012, so but we went into the halftime against San Francisco with the lead. With me and <laughs> so quit trying to tell me, Glenn, if this person falls. 25-point lead. I've, I've blown one before, people. After the rain. Everybody start making mistakes and get jittery around 25-point leads, get losing. It's so hard. You ain't blocking the same. You missing passes. You ain't running away. To yesterday. You need some wine with the cheese. I need some grapes. But anyway. <laughs> and some crackers. But, uh, <laughs> but stop it, y'all. I don't that was a team know. collapse. But y'all but we know but I'll let everybody tell me tomorrow why it's everybody else's fault. I'll let y'all do that. Twenty five point lead, trust me. I've won championships at a, a couple of levels in my time. And I can tell you, to lose a 25-point lead, there's a lot of people involved with that. It's a natural that's a lot of people involved. You but if it makes you feel good, do it tomorrow. Yes, go ahead. I'm good now, Mace. With my you grapes good? at? And my you crackers. Good? Hey, man. Hey, man. And all y'all who tagging me, talking about some, yeah, 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 yeah. y'all ain't tagged them enough. 30 of y'all watched the game yesterday. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> How was the chip and dip that y'all brought to y'all party yesterday? <laughs> hey, listen. And I hope all y'all listen. trip over a crack and twist ankles. It was it was 31 losers. <laughs> One Super Bowl champion, 31 losers. There so were 30 vi- people watching the game yesterday. It was 31 losers. There were 30 watching. 31 teams don't have a ring today. <laughs> we got championships, though. <laughs> We got you, sure. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, Green Bay didn't beat us with one player. Yeah. We'll be right back. Here we come back. Great leaders aren't born. 
They're made, and not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. -face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Marie Callender's knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and savor. Marie Callender's, it's time to say. Uncle Dan? Mom? Dad? If you store your guns properly, so not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. Safer when my friends come over. As your neighbor, I'll feel safer. As a school teacher, I'll feel safer. We'll all feel safer. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that I had to have Christ first and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Hey, this is Kia McEwen with Ivory Chevrolet, hanging out with my boys Emmanuel and Maceo on The Crush on the wonderful Sensation Station Network. Yeah. Wide outs, baby. It's a wide out hey, thing. Hey, wide hey, hey. Wide outs, baby. Hey, it's my time. It's wide out thing. It's my time, wide baby. Out, baby. It's my time. Blaze, you ain't gonna introduce me, Blaze? Forget you, man. Go ahead, though. <laughs> nah, oh, hey, man, it's wild out time, baby. You want me to sing some more? It's wild out time with our boy Maxie Heard, man. Y'all know what it's about. Go ahead, dog. Hey, man, so uh, the wild out segment is brought to you by the Love Collection by Liz, where we create natural body and hair products by hand with love. TLC will make you feel amazing. Take time to love on you. Made by hands, made with love. So the wild out segment today, y'all, I'm going to talk about a wild out. Who got snubbed again mm -hmm. this weekend? Get him, buddy. Terrell Owens, Get everybody. Him, uh, for the second straight season, T.O. gets passed up on the Hall of Fame. Now, for you guys who don't know anything about football, Terrell Owens finished his career with 1,078 receptions, 15,934 yards, and 153 touchdowns. He ranked second all time behind only. The greatest receiver to ever play the game, Jerry Rice. So my question to you, dumb voters, why is this guy not in the Hall of Fame? And some of the excuses that we're getting, his off the field, guess what? <laughs> the Hall of Fame is about his merit on the field. Am I right? You are correct, sir. So that's what I'm trying to understand, man. In his only Super Bowl appearance, Nine catches for 122 yards. Mind you, he came off a broken leg. Broken. 
How many guys can do that? So there are 25 wide receivers in the Hall of Fame. Some of the big names include Michael Irvin, Tim <laughs> Brown, Andre Reed, Lynn Swan, Marvin Harrison. I promise you, Terrell Owens is better than every guy I just named on that list. Every guy. It's only one guy that's better than Terrell Owens that played the wide receiver position. And it's Jerry Rice. You voters. So this is the way the votes break out. It's forty eight it's a forty eight person selection committee, which includes one media representative from every NFL city. Mm-hmm. Then you got 16 at-large selectors, all of whom are active members of the media. Mm-hmm. All of you guys, y'all keep getting this thing wrong. Because when we talk about off-the-field transgressions, it's a certain first ballot Hall of Famer that just went in last year by the name of Brett Favre. And if I recall, he had so many off-the-field transgressions from pill-popping to sending news had to, kick him out. to Bucky, I mean, he was known as Buckhead Brett. Kick him out of Atlanta because of that. They had to run him out of Atlanta. So you're telling me that <laughs> it clearly a double standard. Mm-hmm. So what were T.O. off the field transgressions besides he ran his mouth, he didn't probably talk to the media. He did some sit-ups one time. He did some sit-ups in his driveway. <laughs> they say he had conduct detrimental to the team, but every teammate, that has ever played with T.O. has come out and said he was a great locker room guy. I would go to war with T.O. Donovan McNabb, everybody made a big deal about Donovan McNabb and T.O.'s relationship. Donovan McNabb just came out and said, listen, hmm. that was blown out of proportion. Way out. I love T.O. I didn't want T.O. to leave. Nope. Because you know what T.O. did for my numbers? Yeah. He almost won the Super Bowl. People. You do not know what you're talking about when you say Terrell Owens doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame and that he needs to wait. Wait on what? What what are we waiting for? What What are we waiting on? What are we waiting for? It's time. It's really time to change this process. Yeah. It's past time because the Hall of Fame has been around since the AFL NFL merger. It's time to get rid of this thing. Let's get some players, some Hall of Famers. Let's get some coaches. Let's get people who really have vested interest in the game. Not a guy who feels some kind of way because he couldn't get five minutes of your time. Man, it's time to get rid of this process. And if Terrell Owens doesn't get in the Hall of Fame next year, it clearly should become the Hall of Shame. Y'all stop going to Canton. Yeah. I don't even want to go to Canton anymore. You know what's going to be funny, Macy, is next year, Randy Moss is going to be on the ballot as well. So you're going to have him and, Ter- and Terrell Owens on the ballot. Now, this is the guy that has I, – I had a bad weekend. Because now, you, now, you talk about transgressions. Woo. I had a bad weekend this weekend <laughs> because, one, the Falcon Law, but the T.O. thing bothers me. It really bothers me because now I keep – everybody tried to get us on – and I don't usually get into Facebook because, you know, we got the medium. Yeah. I went at people this week. Tell me what he did. Right. Oh, he talked – what did he – has he ever been to jail? No. Child support problems, slapping women, da 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 da. No, no domestic violence issues. Because he didn't give the media the darling, starry look. He's not. When were we going? I mean, this is like I hate that we are in this time where a guy who may have never touched the field in his life dictates who's at all of fame. These guys have never been in the locker room. Some of these guys don't even know how to put on hip pads. <laughs> They they don't they don't even know that you throw the ball you know laces up, a lot of this stuff they don't know. But you're giving these guys the power to put pros, great. You gave a guy really earlier, Whitlock, to hear him say he was not. Dude, I don't know many people play broken leg and still beat you and you couldn't cover Listen, him. This guy never came to camp out of shape. This guy is still a freak of nature. He played till he was 41, Willie. Listen, and say he can still play today, and I believe him. I believe him, too. I believe him. He, and what everybody don't, and for all you writers don't remember, he was the reason why they didn't let Jerry Rice go. Because they had T.O. Only the greatest receiver to ever play the game. He got released and went to Oakland because they said, we got T.O. We, we have T.O., man. And J.J. Stowe. We could, well. When you can <laughs> when you can run the GOAT out of town, Come on, man. how good are you? Fifteen. I mean, it's 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 sad. I I don't play the, I don't 
I'm with you, Mace. I wish they got Hall of Fame people to vote. You got, you got to change this process. Let the Gold Jackets vote and, and see. Let the Gold Jackets. I guarantee you, everybody in the hall know that Terrell Owens is a Hall of Fame. Great player. It's a great player. But they sure got Kurt in that fast. I ain't gonna say nothing about that. Mm. And we come back, man. It's time to talk with our coach, man. Stay with us, it's the Crush. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I'm an expert, and I'm a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Hey, Teddy, why is investing important? Most people have goals that they're trying to reach in life that has something to do with growing their assets. That's a problem that we have in our community because we don't take enough risk to actually grow our assets to meet our expectations. So how does Paris Capital help me? I see myself as a world-class investor. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I'm here to bring a transparent, low-fee strategy so people understand what they're getting into when they invest. A dollar today is not worth the same as a dollar tomorrow. You can go to my website at parishcapital.com or call us at 800 800- 618-1940. Ignore the noise, stay focused, and prosperity be unto you. Uncle Dan? Mom? Dad? If you store your guns properly, so not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. Safer when my friends come over. As your neighbor, I'll feel safer. As a school teacher, I'll feel safer. We'll all feel safer. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. This is Coach Greg Thompson. Tune in to the Christ on the SSNATL.com. Jump the gun a little bit, but hey, man, we're back. And and and, and, and uh, me and Macy have talked, man. We, we we brag about our Monday basketball coverage because we 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 got one of the best in the country right here, man. Man, but you just throw it out there. He got it. He know. I don't. I think he. I be I don't searching think he, for stuff. I don't think he do nothing else but watch college basketball. But man, he got family and everything. But he still be knowing this stuff. I, I do a couple other things. <laughs> you know, I sing a little Michael every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> little raspberry, but right by Prince. Mm. Let's try to crash the yeah. boards with our man, Coach Lewis Preston. What's up, Coach, man? How you doing, man? Man, crazy weekend. Crazy weekend. What happened yesterday? Never mind, Coach. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> crazy weekend, man. I'm not even talking about Super Bowl. I'm talking about all the upsets in the top ten. Oh, my God. Just, I'm just looking at them right now, man. And the one that everybody's talking about, Coach, Iowa State, Kansas. If you go into Kansas and do what they did, man, that it's winning streak and everything has ended. 54 games gone. 54 games, gone. Coach. What were your thoughts on that game? Uh, I said it before and I'll say it again. Kansas's weakness is their inside game. And tonight, you know, even putting Carlton Bragg out there uh, against Kansas State, I think it just goes to show how desperate they are to get inside help. Mm. They got the best one, two, three punch. Yeah. You know, in regards to, to Frank Mason, Devontae Graham, and then Josh Jackson, it's just they just can't get anything going inside. So, you know. But you know what? I do trust Bill Self, so he'll figure out a way. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it he'll out. Figure it out. He'll definitely figure it out. Coach, mm-hmm. my guy, Tony Bennett at UVA, he owned Rick Patino. Five wins in a row. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And they and they blow them out tonight. Yeah. Yeah, seventy one fifty five. Yeah. That is a great comeback win for Virginia after what happened to them against Syracuse. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Because mm-hmm. that was reminiscent of what happened to them in Chicago during the NCAA tournament. Right. right. Yeah. Big lead, all of a sudden. Syracuse get on that roll, and when that when that momentum starts, that zone just extends out on you, and the next thing you know, you feel like you're playing seven guys instead of five. But that's a great bounce back win against Louisville. Man, big win because they're the number four team in the country. Yep. Yeah. Is is Florida better than we think, or Kentucky not as good as we think? I was talking to a couple people about this uh, this weekend. You got to understand those guys at Kentucky right now. Those guys were in high school last year. They, so they hit that freshman wall. Yeah, so mm-hmm. they were just finishing up, getting ready for the state championship. Right. They still got a month and a half of basketball. Coach Kyle, I'm not going to take anything away from him. He'll get those guys, get the troops back. But uh, a 22-point coach? No, I tip my hat to, to Mike White because I think one of the things that was interesting uh, during the broadcast was listening to where they had the team meeting. Mm-hmm. to come to Jesus meeting. And, yeah. I think, <laughs> and I think as a championship program, at some point you got to have the come to Jesus meeting. And a lot of things were said, a lot of things on both sides, and sometimes you don't want to hear it, but sometimes the truth will set you free. <laughs> and uh, they've been blowing people out ever since then. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it was funny, you talked about Florida last year. You say we mm-hmm. don't know what we really got down there. But mm-hmm. looks like we learned a lot about Florida around yeah. here, these places. Yeah. If, if they can continue to knock down shots. Yeah. And they can get something from McBunu inside, then you got a chance. Got a chance to be good. Once again, post guys, double digit rebounds makes you millions. Mm. I don't know how many times you can tell people that. I'm just trying to say it. Just get your boys, <laughs> man. Just get get clean up. Get your ten twelve. A million yeah. dollars a boy. Boy, if you get ten twelve a game in college, they, gonna, eat, they come eat. to get you. You eat. <laughs> You're eating. Just be a double double guy. That's all you gotta do. Now, Coach Jim <laughs> Beheim is on record. He says Gonzaga will go to the Final Four. They're not. They're the top team in the country. A lot of people sold on Gonzaga. I, I'm I'm sold on the Zags too, Coach. The more I keep watching them play, they they just play a great brand of basketball, Coach. First of all, they keep the floor spread. They got veteran players. Uh, the most important thing is in college when you have great guards, you got a chance to be really good. And then they just they beat the brakes off Santa Clara. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they beat the brakes off of them. They beat them for no reason. Like yeah, that. I was just shaking my head. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, and, and let me ask you this, Coach. I'm going to just throw a little something. We'll break it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Have you ever went out there? Because I'm looking at that game. I go back to the game where Iowa State beat Kansas. Yeah. When you just see a team that you think you're better than that, Something about that night, they just on. Whatever game that you can remember real quick, you were like, we should have took it to that team, and you were like, wow, we don't look like we – this is tougher than we thought. I'll, I'll bring back a memory Gator fans will remember. <laughs> we had just lost to Vanderbilt. At Vanderbilt, Shane Foster and Derek Byers put 62 of the 82 on us. God dang. We played Tuesday night at 9 o'clock against Tennessee at Tennessee. <laughs> I knew we were in trouble when Pat Summit, God bless us all, came out in the cheerleader outfit for Rocky Top. Yeah, oh, we I knew we were. Oh yeah, all the way up. We were down thirty at that <laughs> half. Those dudes played lights out. And y'all got to remember that Florida team that coach was a part of. You talk about Yo Kim and uh, Al and all them was on that squad. That didn't happen. I remember when she came out and it went crazy that day. Yeah. We got that thing down to about, what, six points, but we just, just ran out of gas. Just yeah. ran out of gas. <laughs> wow. Was chasing so. all night. That would it be. You got, you're working so hard to get back in the game, but just that, that, that the pressure. The, and Daggone Chris Lofton just kept making one shot after another to Ooh, just keep Lofton. that distance. Yeah. <laughs> was. Maysville, Kentucky, I'll never forget. I gotta go back and watch that one. That should be on classic. That was one of them. No, it shouldn't be on classic. <laughs> Having fun with the Super Bowl yesterday. Uh-oh. The uh, guys from North Carolina and uh, Villanova were going back and forth on Twitter saying that uh, yesterday's Super Bowl was the second best game played in 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 Houston. And Chris Jenkins was like, you know, yeah, you you know you know I agree. <laughs> like, he hit the big shot, and it was so funny. Marcus Page was oh. like. Because Marcus Page started it, Man. And, and then the Villanova guy just kind of went in, and they quietly ran Marcus Page off two yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I will say this. That Marcus Page shot 
was so beautiful. Oh, yeah. And the cameraman who got it from the baseline from underneath yeah. and caught him perfect. That's one of the best pictures I've ever seen until Chris Jenkins. Yeah. Until oh. Chris Jenkins. Oh. You would never forget how Barkley ran back to the set and Kenny was like, are you freaking yeah. serious? <laughs> yeah. Two, two, like back-to-back Big, big shots. Big shots. Just on big. that big stage. That was huge, man. Just, the, that, that was a great game. Man. The only person who was probably happier is Big Shot Bob, Robert Orrick. He done made about seven, eight. Yeah. yeah about yeah, ten yeah, of yeah, them. he do that. Yeah. Seven yeah, rings. Whenever I say when Chris came down, they're like, somebody better cover him now. I don't know what I was there. <laughs> Stop. All right, All right man. We'll be right on. back. <laughs> Tacos, the cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This is Tracy Hutchins with CBS 46 News. You're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. Hey, man, we're back. Still doing our crash the board with Coach Lewis Preston. Coach, we were talking about a little bit right now. Give me your – I'm looking at this US, UCLA – now you hear us. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Arizona's coach. And they got uh, pretty smoke this weekend. Smoked? Oregon beat them 85-58. Now, Oregon, they 13, they 21-3. and like, It's a pretty good record. But everybody still is very high on Arizona right now, coach. What are your thoughts? Every once in a while, you just have one of those games. <laughs> just sit. That, that's one you just burn I it the floor, man. Roll. That'd be the floor. That Oregon floor still. This is ugly. I've never been in there. I'm, I'm not sure I'd be comfortable. Sure yeah, it does. Like My half court shots would probably hit somebody in the stands. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know how they let it be legal, but they still be out there. But Oregon, you know, Phil Knight. Give us a Pac-12 rundown, man. What are your thoughts? Like Oregon, they it just is what it is. Uh, Dana Allman does a great job of getting those guys to play hard. I like Arizona. Uh, UCLA, I could watch Lonzo Ball play all day, every day, mm. because he's like Magic Johnson with a little bit of twist to it. Um, a, a very underrated team, and they're kind of – is Quanzo Martin at Cal. He'll sneak up on you when you yeah. least expect it. Yeah. So you got to keep an eye on that. But outside of that, Utah has been – it's been pretty consistent. Uh, Christoviak's done a – Larry Christoviak's done a great job out, out there. But uh, – <laughs> At the end of the day, man, I just, I just keep looking at the uh, ACC. I just keep shaking my head. I'm trying to figure out the Big Ten right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out because it's like, I mean, Wisconsin's doing what Wisconsin always yeah, does. Yeah. I want to send a memo out to Nigel Hayes. Will you please go back to what you were doing that made you great the first two years? Mm. Stop trying to be a three-point shooter. Just be a ball player. You'll make money just being a ball player. Yeah. So that's my shout-out for the week. And it's funny because I was just about to talk about Wisconsin. They just always seem to just be there. Chinese water torture. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but Chinese is, is water it, torture. Can it be, I'm asking you guys, can it be a, a, a school? Because even in football, mm-hmm. they're 
It's the same. They, they, they give you always <laughs> there. They always there. <laughs> is it a school? Is what is it about them, man? It is the system, and 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 what I mean by Chinese water torture, it's very plain and simple. They are the best team in the country at scoring in under eight seconds, mm. and they've been like that for years. Yeah. This isn't something that just happened. This has been over the course of the last like since the Bo Ryan days. Yeah, they just they pistol whip you with the swing. Ooh. And then they Chinese, they just Chinese water torch, just, mm, yeah. just what two seconds on the shot clock. You play great defense of twenty eight seconds and give up a three. And, and I think people don't understand how hard that is. Yeah. To, they 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 continue. They just move that ball. They move it. They back screen you. Right. They overload you real quick. But mm-hmm. they're going to get the that best shot. Right. Very rarely do you see Wisconsin take bad shots in a basketball game. And that's what makes them tough. Right. And very rarely do you see a team speed them up. Oh, no. no you're going to play that Yeah, exactly. no, you're going to play <laughs> and that, mm-hmm. It just amazes me, man. I just see certain schools do certain things. And Wisconsin will always be one of them schools. You'd be like, they're going to be in it. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's like Virginia. Tony Bennett, I mean, you know you know that he's going to play that pack line defense yeah. and that he's offensively going to have one or two guys just make shots. Hey, man, when we come back, man, I get to say it's a little something with my chest, man. Stay with us. Green light. Hey, girl. School zone. I'm getting hungry. Car changing lanes. You want to meet me for pizza? Stop sign. Intersection clear. Yeah. Street. Pizza sounds good. Ball in street? Girl in street! <gasps> It's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text, stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Uncle Dan? Mom? Dad? If you store your guns properly, so not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. Safer when my friends come over. As your neighbor, I'll feel safer. As a school teacher, I'll feel safer. We'll all feel safer. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always... Lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. You've accidentally cut your daughter's bangs unevenly. Do you, A, line things up a centimeter from her hairline? Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. No, 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 no. Sweatbands are so hot right now. Everyone's wearing them. Like that basketball player and that other basketball player. B, get spiritual. Mom, where did all the mirrors go? A reflection could never capture our true selves. Huh? Beauty is within. Um. C. Look on the bright side. Less time blow drying, more time texting. Or D. Show empathy. Mom, you really don't have. Ta-da! To... Twinsies. <laughs> I kind of love it. <laughs> <laughs> As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Hey, man, I, I, my say with the chess is going to be something I feel like I go through every 20 years because we've been to the Super Bowl in 19 years apart. Uh, it is how we go up and down as, as a fan base in this city. And, and it's not even, it's, my thing is, is I understand we lost and it hurts and it should hurt because you know everybody put a lot of effort into their teams and a lot of fanfare and a lot of love. But the one thing that I want is I hope people stay with the squad, but I can't count on that. The one thing that is always I tell Mace and I tell him to his face right now is that whenever you hear somebody say they're a Cowboy fan, it's one thing. How about them Cowboys? It ain't no questions. It ain't no how long you've been a fan. Do you remember Tommy Novus? Do you know this guy? It's how about them Cowboys? Steelers fan, I got my towel in the car. You good? Hey, Green Bay, I got a cheese head. 
San Francisco, blah, blah, and on and on and on. In this city, we kind of get to the point where whoever's hot or whoever's cool, I'm not lying, I swear, some of the people who like Falcon this year, I could have swore y'all had black and blue on last year. And I'm not trying to call you out. I just want to say, if you if you tell me that's how I do it, I just pick the hot team, okay, I go with you. But if you're going to tell me one week you did this and all that, look, I don't care. If you jump on the bandwagon the day before the Super Bowl, just stay on it because we're going to need you. Because they're gonna be, I'm, I'm tired of going to a dome game and be like, is this Atlanta? And it sounded like a Green Bay game. Or it sounded like, I don't want to hear stuff like, well, you know, the Falcons pumped in uh, audio noise. I don't want to hear that stuff no more. You have a championship team, you got an MVP caliber quarterback. You got a young defense. You got a superstar stud at ride receiver. If you can't ride with this team for the next two or three years, don't ride. Dome ain't got no room. If you can't ride, you got a brand new stadium. You got all that. And, and another thing, y'all, friendship is fine. Y'all keep trying to say until they do right by friendship, right behind the Mauer Brown Towers. They okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they cash the check. Yeah, they cash the big check. They doing just fine. <laughs> For everybody to keep talking about until they do right by friendship, right behind Mauer Brown Towers who they're about to tear up. And look at that big monstrosity they call in the church behind it. That's that church. But anyway, man, stop all that. We ain't need to do right by Vic. Vic just gave us a letter to the city <laughs> that said... <laughs> He loves Atlanta. He cheered for the Falcons. He was hurt we lost. Yeah. Stop that, too. Quit trying to make excuses, man. And the, the bottom line is this. Don't question people. I want anybody who want to be a fan because I want to see people in this city. It's a transient city. You need as many fans as possible. You need fans. It feels good to see the Falcon fans go to Dallas and have Falcon fans there. Yeah. Or they go to Detroit or Oakland, and you see that guy with that jersey, you be like, or to sit in the Applebee's like I did on Saturday and see a Jeff George uh, right. jersey. They brought him out the woodworks. Jeff George. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jeff George. <laughs> That's what I'm, I, I love that about the city, man. <laughs> Coach's mouth is not closed. Yeah, the, speechless. <laughs> yeah, the biggest head I ever seen in my life. Jeff George had a dome on him. Jennifer, my wife, was like, well, what is Jeff going for? So I said, let me go take you to this little video right here. Jeff, shout out to Jeff Joy doing that victory lap around the Georgia Dome. He did a victory lap on us, man. He bought the Raiders in here and got a win. He did a victory lap around the Dome. It's going to hurt. And it's supposed to hurt. If you're a fan and you love your team, it hurt. Trust me. Make sure you got about 1,000 pictures of me that he's going to unleash over periods of time. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to release them. I'm releasing them nice and slow. Nice but and all slow. I want, man, is, is I want you to be a fan and enjoy it, man, because I promise you, I was asked today, can we win it? Year to year, you don't even know. But I know we got talent on this squad, and it should be yeah. fun to see it. Y'all stop giving each other uh, quizzes. <laughs> so what if he don't know who Bobby Butler is? If he chill for the Falcons, he chill for the Falcons. Oh, sure. But this is what this is what y'all do. Yeah. This is what y'all do, man. Enjoy it, man. Dang it. Yeah, man. That's how we have on the ride, man. <laughs> wise up. <laughs> wise up, not rise up. Wise up. <laughs> Tacos, the cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Great leaders aren't born. They're made, and not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. -face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com and let truisms help you to the next level. Great leaders aren't born. 
They're made, and not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. -face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Hey, Crush fans. I'm Tanya Fernandez. You're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. You got me in my feelings right now. The Crush Recap brought to you by... <laughs> Blunt Power. The Blunt Power 3 spray lasts for days. You can find out more about Blunt Power at their website, bluntpower.com. I go to their Facebook page at Blunt Power and our Twitter page at Blunt Power. So, y'all, yeah, just, I, I just want fans to be fans, man. Just enjoy the game. What's man. Mike Vick Middle name? I, just, what? I didn't even know his name was Michael. What, <laughs> what color <laughs> Steve Bokowski went to? Yeah, dang. Who was before Chris Chandler? I'm like, I don't know. Some people know it because we, that's all we do. We ain't got no lies. But for real, I don't, yeah. I don't care. Honestly, dude, I was really at the point, man, I was just going to say, why do y'all care when they became fans? What was Bobby Abel's favorite restaurant when he was in Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> what, how long did Abel stay here? I mean, like, I don't know. I don't even know some of these questions, y'all. And I tell everybody, my favorite player of all time is Jesse Tucker. Everybody, wait a minute, it's not Mike Vick. No, because I had an attachment to Tucker. Tucker was 5'10", playing linebacker, and I was at Mark Brown. I was playing. It's about the same side. What high school did Jesse Tucker go to? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Jesse Tucker's son? I don't know. Is a lad named Tucker? No. -uh. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Did Mike Vick wear Nikes or Adidas? <laughs> <laughs> they give you a, a, a – boy, you got to write a three-page essay – to be a Falcon fan, boy. I just sat there, man, and I'm sitting there like, and, 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 I, and the reason why I brought it up because Tracy was talking about, you know, maybe we going to be on CBS 46, shout out to us out there. But we, 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 Tracy asked us, Mace, what do you think the city going to do? We think people will leave. I'm like, I hope not. Because if yeah. I got an MVP, I got a receiver, I got running back or running backs, I got a nice line, I got a defense of young. Yo, I want to be in that Mercedes B packing it out. I don't want to see Cowboys and, and see the thing is, Coach, I'm, I'm going to get you, Coach. Cowboys come here next year. I don't want to hear how about them Cowboys more well, than I had the dirty listen, bird in here, man. The nation, the nation will be in the building. <laughs> I got one question. Who's going to be the new offensive coordinator? Chip Kelly, baby. Chip Kelly, baby. Be careful what y'all ask for. Y'all want to send in hand out of here. He's out. If Chip yeah. Kelly, if be careful who you ask for. Yeah. Y'all want somebody new? Okay. Matt Ryan's the MVP. We had the number one offense, and the assistant coach of the year was that guy, Cal Shanahan. What color gloves did Mike Pritchett wear? <laughs> <laughs> Who caught that pass in Green Bay vote when Vic threw it? Uh, I, will, I will say this. I've never seen more camaraderie over a 72-hour span leading up to the Super Bowl from Atlanta fans. It was insane. It was great. It was I mean, front I've never, running I've crazy, never, baby. Front running I, crazy, baby. I was like, yes, there it is. And I was like, boy, be lewd, though. They're going to jump out that thing. Look at like, so the stores were creating Falcon four ways. Yeah. Like, man, let's get these shirts out. I'm telling you, like, man. up and down Cascade. Man, man you, every corner, you could have got a Falcon shirt. <laughs> and my daughters don't like football at <clears throat> all. They think it's the worst thing that ever been created. <clears throat> They want. They watched the Super Bowl. They wanted jerseys. And I'm like, this is what we. The city needed this. You yes. know what I'm saying? It needed that but, fire. But to become a nation. Here you go. No, I'm saying you. You gotta. I ain't, I ain't eulogize y'all like I eulogize everybody else. No, you had a bigger thing to talk about. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but, but to become a nation is 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 the buying in every year. Yeah. It, it, it becomes a culture. Yeah. And I think that's what people miss. Like they don't like say, you're gonna jump out the bandwagon and then. For eight weeks next year, I'm um, sitting on my hands waiting to see. No, see what they going to do. Cheer for them because, again, I remember all y'all who wanted uh, Matt Schaub after two preseason games. Man, Matt Ryan will never get this offense. Man, the guy's an MVP, yeah. and half of y'all still didn't like him. Y'all was trying to claim him. Y'all know Mike Vick a free agent, right? Mm? <laughs> <laughs> we need to go get him because Matt Ryan ain't going to do right. Man, He's an MVP. And do what? What, what? what is he going to do? The guy was the best player in football this year. He might hands be hands down. He ain't 200 pounds. He about 190. He's like, he about 186. He's a light dude. Yeah. Or, yeah, he can't take I wonder when they used to take them shots, boy. I used to be like, hey, <laughs> yeah. 
but he can still look like he can. He still like he can run fast. You know how you just see people like he fast. Yeah, cat quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, just, he probably can't make that 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 one or two moves he used to make. He he, he probably can't make them moves. Father no time don't lose. Yeah. Father time undefeated. Remember how he used to stop on a dime? Let the Ooh. dude just jump, slide right by him, then he Listen, go another fifteen yards. Mike Vick Man. was the only quarterback in the NFL could off that off that bootleg could just stand there yeah. and hold the ball, and then when he come around, that he's still faster than you to get to the corner. And I, and I gotta say, you know, I, I'm I've been I, during the Smith era, and let me just tell y'all, there was the Smith on the Falcons before. Our current guy, okay? No, man. Arthur Blank always owned yeah. the Falcons. Rankin Smith and his brother and team and all his family owned Arthur the, Blank built the Georgia the Dome. Before all that. Man, you ain't never met Martin Luther the King. <laughs> <laughs> the King? <laughs> That's what he said. Martin Luther the King. You ain't never met Martin Luther the King. I can say honestly, from what I've seen, I've never seen an owner do as much work as he can to turn something around. Listen, Arthur Blank, without a doubt, is one of the better owners. Remember when we first got it, when ticket was a hundred dollars for seats, and you can get some real cheap seats. He was trying to make it come see us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He and, gave, and then the dome turned into one twelve. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The oh, Mike, it, was it, was, it was the Mike Vick experience. It was 112 Atlanta Live, yeah. Freak Meat, yeah. all in one section. Then nobody go to they see everybody hung out in the 100 section. Yeah. That's why they got it roped off now. You can't just, you got to show your ticket now to get in the 100 section. <laughs> Back in the day, when nobody in the 300, cause everybody got their ticket and they just, we in the 100. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> We ain't going nowhere. One twelve, it one twelve down there by the twenty. Mm -hmm. Behind the Falcon bench on the other twenty down there. That's it line of line. Then Blue Flame was always on the other side. Blue Flame Magic City. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to give y'all some historical yeah. perspective for y'all Falcon fans. So when he took you know over, man, we went and we kept growing. And he did things, and when we lost Vic because it hurt him too. He would have said, "We gotta get a quarterback." He wouldn't get Ryan. Yeah. Because he didn't want to wait for Vic because he knew what it was. He took it. He keeps building, and yeah, he he was close yesterday. I wanted I wanted to win for him too. First half he, he was could. doing that. He was doing that ugly dance in the first half. Yeah, man, I was like, what is that? Second half he stood on the sideline. Him and why he looking like man? Sure stayed in the box. That's what I said. Right. Stay in the box, box, man. Right. Use every superstition. Sometimes you gotta <laughs> act like you've been there yeah. before. Robert Kraft stayed in the Robert box. Robert Kraft didn't put on. He put on the coat on when it was zero zero in the overtime. Ah, put on my coat. Yeah, go get this trophy. Yeah. Yeah. And look at Roger get down and laugh at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give him my trophy, man. I, I just I, I just, you know, man, and, and I know we're gonna get a whole bunch of opinions, but the city, stay behind your team. We we we're not behind the Braves no more. We went 15, 16 years strong, we blew that up because it was, you know, make it to the playoffs just wasn't enough. You know, the Hawks ain't really did nothing in a while. You brought your homeboy down here. And, and you know, the city it, it is they always want to say it's a college town. But if this people wanted this to be a pro town, it's the spot. A lot of the spot. I can tell you right now when we get a, a, a spot and we throw. I mean, because everybody here. I mean, yeah. you're here. You throwing some. You can't imagine how many Atlanta songs there are out here that can get yeah. the place crunk. Hey, hey, <laughs> real quick, everybody, y'all, y'all stop. Listen, y'all don't pay nobody mortgage or taxes. If those folk want to be here and chill for somebody else, that's fine. Now, if y'all going to pay everybody property tax, yeah. then, yeah, to move. Make it a requirement. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you going to come by my house? I, yeah, I move. I'm going to tell you the best feeling I've ever had as a football fan of the Falcons. So I went to a Carolina game one day before the whole Cam Newton. They had uh, Jake Dale home. Jake the homie. Yeah, the homer. Jake the homie. And we beat them. And I had my Falcon stuff on like, yeah. And I saw a guy in the section probably like, way around the corner pointing at me just like this. And the walk and just do no that no, we actually lost that game because they played Sweet Caroline and that thing drove me insane. That's the worst song to hear after the loss of Sweet Caroline. And they and they went out. You know how you had to walk down the thing in Carolina Mason. Yeah. They crowned us. Falcons, I've done a lot for y'all, man. You know what, man? Y'all on two strike with me, man. Do yeah, something else. Man. But but like it's even like when when you take the trip to New Orleans oh and New God. Orleans Saint fan, make sure your butt's sitting way up there oh, yeah. in the nine hundred <laughs> section. You changing light bulbs. Yeah. You can't everybody look like ants out there. You know, like you had a little <laughs> little, little game. Yeah. You plug in, the man go Zzzz. You might run into a real falcon up there when you're that so high. Right. The dome ain't got no rules. <laughs> and a couple bats. <laughs> <laughs> and the voodoo lady. Yeah. Who living up there. A couple shamans. Yeah. A couple shamans up I'm there. I'm like, what happened? And she just got her little thing. She just... <laughs> <laughs> and you sitting there like, man. She got doll every team. 
Fumble. And Fumble. Then, and you shouldn't drink everything down there, but you know, and let me just say this. You all Saint fan? I don't like y'all. It, it's real. They happy though. It's they, real. They happy though. New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints fans so happy today, but when they saw uh, y'all lose, they were like, "We can still talk about that ring. That's we 30, got a ring, baby." There's thirty other teams that get on my nerve, but they don't bother me. That team. Yeah, man. They y'all. They got one up on y'all, baby. Yeah. They put a. I ain't gonna say the meme. I ain't gonna give y'all no credit. Just see y'all. Suckers. See y'all in nineteen years, baby. Yeah. Wow. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it get worse tomorrow. Just throw shade. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, it get worse tomorrow. Enrique Davis, thanks for coming by, man. Uh, thank you, Sky. Thank you, Coach. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. <laughs> I ain't giving no doubt. We'll see y'all tomorrow, man. <laughs>